Hello there, I'm Barbara Serra. These are the headlines on Al Jazeera. Tunisia's labor unions have called for a general strike to be held on Friday in protest against the assassination of a prominent opposition leader, Shokri Belaid. Demonstrators clashed with police in the capital Tunis as a number of protesters tried to make for the interior ministry. Belaid was gunned down outside his home in Tunis on Wednesday. Protesters are also calling for the downfall of the ruling Ennahda party. Syrian rebels have engaged in heavy fighting with troops in the capital Damascus for a second day. It comes as a new report from Médecins Sans Frontières says that half the 220,000 Syrian refugees in Lebanon aren't getting proper medical care. Rula Amin is at a refugee camp in Lebanon's Beka Valley. This is not a proper refugee camp. Uh, people here live in tents. This is how they build them. It's just pieces of wood and there's mud. And when it's ready, they bring these cardboards and they cover the mud and that's their floor. And when it rains, it's pretty miserable for these people. And this camp is not administered or established by the government of Lebanon. Basically, each family pays a rent for the landowner of this land, about 200 to 300 dollars a year, just to take that small piece of land and build that tent on it. Mostly no toilets, no proper sewage at all. And there are no water, there's no water, no electricity. Russia has been marking the start of the one-year countdown to the Winter Olympics in Sochi. But with preparations hit by rising costs and delays, President Vladimir Putin has now sacked the vice president of Russia's Olympic Committee. Well, the cost of hosting the Games has soared to approximately $50 billion. It's being partly funded by the state and private investment. The 2014 Winter Olympics is seen as a personal project of the Russian leadership. Lots more on all the stories we've been covering on our website. The address on your screens right now, aljazeera.com. Those were the headlines on Al Jazeera. And that's all from me, Barbara Serra. Bye-bye.